Morning. Afternoon. I say morning, it's not, it's afternoon, isn't it? It is. We've both had a day of it. No comment. You street naked on the beach on the rugby <laughs> tour. And I've been sat, Jack played Arsenal this morning, so I've been there. Uh, I won't be miserable this week. I won't drag everybody down to my level. I'll be realistic. Sounds good to me. Wow. Hopefully. So let's get through the intro and we'll try and mix it up a little bit in 20 minutes. That's the plan anyway. All right. What are you doing? Setting a timer. Everyone said we should make short videos. So you've asked for it. <laughs> let's see what you get. 20 minutes. Go. Right. We're off. Parts have turned up for this. I've got to do it at like 1.5 speed now. Uh, some air filters, the fuel tank seals and bolts, and the anti-roll bar links. Uh, so we're going to get those bits on. Once I've done the cam belt, which hasn't arrived yet, it's at Nissan, or it's coming to Nissan, then I'm just going to send it like it is down for MOT. And we'll see what happens. Could, what could go worse? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, had the engine in and out of this on the weekend to do timing chains, so that motor's back in. We just need to. That was a quick turnaround, dude. Yeah. Plummet. Literally fit everything back together and plummet. So engine out, timing chains done, engine back in. Um, wow. it, it had jumped the time in, so sorted. Uh, wheels have gone off on the Ferrari to have the tires done. Cam sensor failed, so I couldn't drive it. Run it on a dyno. The video's on the webs on the Instagram. Went to drive it off a dyno this morning. Wouldn't start. Cam sensor's gone down, so we're trying to sort that out at the minute because the owner did want it tomorrow. And Carlito is in Misery Corner, putting an RSQ3 back together. Sorry, mate, you're taking too long to answer that one. So on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> you're having fun, aren't you? I was going to say, it's not misery corner. It's just, just corner. Yeah, it's, it's just all misery. Whole Life is misery. <laughs> it's fine. Thursday and Friday was amazing. Yeah. I yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we have got uh, an S5 in that snapped a manifold and one has turned up for service. Um, but pff, we won't get into those and we won't get into what's outside uh, because we only have 18 minutes and eight seconds left. Come here, on, boy. keep going. I know. Uh, bike's ready, finish that Saturday because uh, I've got a CAD one this week. So bike sorted, ready to go, just need to put fairings on. So I feel a lot better about that. I won't feel as rushed Wednesday, Thursday when I've got to load up. Um, so yeah. Things are moving along. Juden is daddy daycare this morning and then he'll be in. We've just had a, a Mark II Escort and a dyno. So that's just left, which is why me and you are late. That's about update done. Done. Right. On to the bit that is going to take some time. So we had a load of comments about our video last week, didn't we? Do you want your tripod? No. I'm sat here, lad. Don't you worry. Get it? I like it. Did you get the joke? No. All oh, right. Tripod. Ah! Hey! Tripod. I'm sat here. Tripoding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lots of people had lots of things to say. Some of it we have covered in the past. Some of it me and you have tried in the past. Some of it we don't want to do. But I think you picked out some bits really to sort of cover off, didn't you, that you felt were pertinent. Indeed. Because I did a video whinging about YouTube. And what's it done? 25,000 views. I did a technical video on a Lamborghini R8 oil pump and it's done less. <laughs> yes, significantly less. So yeah, that's the hard, this is the hard bit now where we go, right, do, what, do we, what do we stick to? So anyway, uh, Anthony O'Regan, I've been following your channel and I enjoy it very much. The one thing I see is you don't have a continuous build series and I think that's where it's going wrong. If I were you, I would focus on one of the free cars you have previously bought, Noble Skyline ZX, and do a series from start to finish and complete one of them. An audience keeps like having to look for, keeps like having something to look forward to. An episode once a week on one of these cars you're storing is a way to go. Focus on one aspect and you're going to work on blah, 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 blah. Right. I agree which is why we have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the Noble started as a build series and it got to the point where I had to make a serious decision that was also a massive financial decision on what the next step was, which we have spoken about, which is why we label all the Noble and all the Skyland videos, part one, part two, part three. So they are a series. Um, the Noble is waiting on a chassis and I'm waiting for the guy to decide what he's doing with his chassis and how much he wants for it. He said, I can have it, he, we just need to talk brass tacks. The Skyline is done, Eng as in engines out, manual converted, but until the suppliers can give me the parts I'm now waiting on, I can't put the engine back in. And the ZX is the same thing. Yeah, we've done a video, we've got part two up our sleeve, which we might add a few little bits and pieces to, but until I've got the cam belts here, which are factory back order, I can't do anything with that either, and I'm not putting non-genuine parts on it. So. This is why when you start looking at like, picking on him again, Matt Armstrong's channel, he's got six or seven cars on the go because you always run into a roadblock. So yes, I agree with what you're saying. It is what we already tried to do. The other side of it is, is I've got to look after clients and they come first. And sometimes we just haven't got the time to do, to d dedicate at least a day to spending some time on a car. But I think you feel the same about that anyway, don't you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, Joe OV 9 vc Ricky, this is one of the best car tech channels on YouTube for performance cars. Where I suggest you make a saving is by cutting out the walk around, around the parking lot. Ah, see, did it today, didn't do it. All from what you've said. I'm not interested in how many cars are waiting for what parts. You could save at least 10 minutes filming time every video. I want to see what is happening in a workshop with case studies in depth from what you're getting interesting jobs in. The free part on the RS3 engine build was brilliant and highlight where your street's better than an Audi dealer. Um, yep, I agree. Um, again, going back on what we said before, we haven't done a workaround today because Dav mentioned it. Sometimes cars just don't turn over in the car park. So fair enough, we'll keep an eye on that one. The other side is, is Dav isn't here all the time. So whereas I've done them timing chains, probably would have made a great video. Sometimes I've just got to get the work done, which is then why you start buying project cars. So you can do more in, in depth videos over a longer period. Yeah. Basically, mate, quit all your other jobs, come work for us full time. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> this is why the YouTube needs to pay so I can pay you your extortionate wage. This, this, is, this is the next thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. This is what we need to have a chat about. Yeah. Uh, JDM1 Hunter, instead of sitting down in one spot, like many update videos for 40, 60 minutes, I appreciate updates, but it's switch offable to many videos this long. If you keep things to 15, 20 minutes, Shown working on something, owner's cars, a JDM and Noble, seeing labor or workings with your team. It'll attract many DIY enthusiasts. For example, pulling apart the Noble engine was a highlight for me. I think the reason Skyland hasn't taken off is because very few worldwide are interested in a non-GTR version. Uh, I agree with the GTR thing. Even then though, you start looking at GTR videos and they don't really do amazing. We've had more interested in the ZX because it's rarer. Um, Today is always meant to be an update video, so we never really get too in-depth today, do we? We kind of stay, we film it in two bits. That was it. Um, and we, then the Friday was always the technical. We are in one position though, so let's quickly move. Quick. I'll sit on a different wheel, somewhere else. Right, done. Yeah, 12 minutes left. Uh, Ricky, uh, AJ08. Ricky, are you working on most people's dreams cars every day that are broken? Oh, you are working on. Show us how you're repairing them, not just telling us. Get the guys involved showing us how to repair them. Show us some tuning work on a dyno, how you, ext how you extract the extra power. We've done dyno videos, they've tanked, and they have tanked, haven't they? Yeah. The RS6 dyno video was a good one, but it wasn't a dyno video, it was an RS6 video. We just happened to run it on a dyno. We have done some pretty in-depth dyno videos, especially around the Motec, the 355 Motec, stuff like that. Sure and it hasn't done well. So AJ, I appreciate it might be what you want to see. And we have gone down this road where it is, we think it's interesting. It has kind of tanked a little bit. Um, showing things being fixed again, if we think that would be a video that did well, then we could do that as a technical video. The other side of it is, all I'm doing then is educating the idiots who are trying to work on these things anyway. And I don't mean people at home doing it themselves, but we're well regarded for how we work. If I show everybody and their dog on a free product, how we do the job, then everybody just copy us. So I'm a little bit 
in two minds over that one. I agree with that. <clears throat> um, I can show you how to build an engine all day long and there's still bits you'll get wrong because I won't, I haven't shown, there's a lot in there. If I show you how to service an R8, then AJ Aronson, you, you know, hey, hey, AJ, I use your name, mate. Um, do, do you know what I mean? I'm starting to show everybody how to do what we do. So I don't know, maybe that's a silly way to see it, but I've got to protect something of my business and I can't show them everything. I think that's a really fair point. Yeah? Yeah. It's like you taking a, an amazing photo and you've taken loads and then putting up all your settings of your camera. Yeah. Half, it, half of the photo is what you set up in your hands, right? That's right, yeah. If they, if they want some out of focus, dark imagery, I'm your man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Battlelight 3476, Ricky's. Save yourself, do quality 20 minute videos max. You'll thank me later. When's the last time you sat down and watched a one, two minute video? Uh, last night, because obviously M539 and stuff is always big, long video. So I do, not saying that'll work for everybody. Um, Glenn Walsh, turn around your own project cards. They need to be a lot faster to keep the viewer interested. We even said about that, um, parts, you, you know, it is, a, it is an issue. If I had a, a project R8, yeah, we could knock it out quick, but the stuff we're playing around with is, um, it's hard to get parts for. And then, like I said, customer work always comes first, which is why we've always tried to do videos on customer stuff. JMPCAIB, suggestion. Why don't you let Dav do a full well and film what he wants? The lads work in, the garage experience, post every day, Monday, Friday, see how he does. Maybe we'll have a shot. Completely agree. Uh, Except <laughs> Dav doesn't live here. Yeah, he's obviously, the, the, the other way around this, let's face it, is if you've got the GoPro with you, or sometimes even your phone, which you've done in Israel uh, and things. Mate, how many you know? times, yeah, and that takes so much concentrating. It yeah. takes so much concentrating to remember to do it. Yeah. Um, and even then there's key bits, like how many times have we said, oh, when you go racing, just film some bits of you racing. And I'm like, no worries. And then I literally leave on a Thursday and I'm like, racing mode, racing mode, racing mode. Of and course. then I drive home on a Sunday and I'm like, Ah, oh, what a load of shit. I forgot everything. So I appreciate. And this is why we spoke about in the video last week, where at the minute, YouTube doesn't cover Dav's costs. And yes, I know that is growing my business. But if we can get it to a place where I can go to you, right, how much a year are you going to be to come and work here? There's a website, social media. There's all these things you can do, of which course. you do already, but on a on a on a scale that sure because you've got other clients like TTS and I can't get through the work we attract in now yeah so I either go balls deep employ you take someone else on get a bigger premises and try to churn through the work we generate or just try to show what we do already and do it to a high value so that's what we're trying to figure out whether it works you need a cheaper dav I need a cheaper dav yeah <laughs> with an untwistable stomach <laughs> uh, the Rain Man 72, always great content watching from WA Australia. Wait, would that be Western Australia? Could yeah, I be. suppose. Uh, these are not criticisms, but try. Shorter videos, around 20 minutes. There's a pattern there. Yeah, slightly clickbait titles. Nah, me and you struggle with those, don't we? We do. Uh, concentrate on a particular vehicle, each vlog. Yeah, hard bit there is Obviously, I, I see what you mean there. Maybe the workshop update is we just look at a car in that's having some work done. Maybe, maybe that's something. That's got potential. Yeah. It's a themed kind of thing. It is, but again, it works into what is it in having work for? And, and often what are we gonna film? It can't be an R8 every time as well. No, and then you need to be here for eight hours to carry the eight, to capture the eight hours work to edit it into a 30, 40 minute video. So again, that comes back to a couple of prong things um, that we've spoken about up above. Uh, less Q&A segments, maybe one per month. Yeah. Um, although the argument there is, this is Q&A segments that, that our workshop updates do better than our other videos, don't they? It's true. So that's a hard bit. Promote your product so as a potential video sponsor can see how you would cover their product. We've got into Spot, chatted about sponsors before. Um, yeah, there's a, that's a whole other topic that is. Um, Time check. 
Five minutes, 55 seconds left to go. We're not going to get through all of it. We're not. <clears throat> Hot Black Desiado 3451. <laughs> I'm sure Dabla's on the case, but do you analyze YouTube video metrics to understand if viewers tend to watch the whole video or do they skip? Um, yes, we look at metrics. Yes, we draw some conclusions. Yes, they're absolutely thrown out of the window the next video because what the metrics tell you, like I said, I did a rant video about how I'm not doing YouTube anymore and it's done twice the views in the same period of time that the technical video on an oil pump did on Friday. It's had the most comments of any video ever. Yeah. So you, I... Uh, William Bauer, 5890. I think what you're forgetting is you've done it the other way around from the average YouTuber. They're mostly people who work as employees and started YouTube with the hope of being able to escape. Um, you're starting out doing the YouTube thing as they did, but you already have a successful business. At your current level of view subscribers, it's going to be w difficult to feel any sort of reward for it in comparison to them. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that's I a fair point. It is. Um, I think if we change the name, because we've discussed this, haven't we? If it was like Ricky fixes broken shit, it would be a different entity. Hey, that's um, an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, do, when was the last time you went onto YouTube and typed in a business name to search for a video? You don't, do you? Very true. So, um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Again, it, I think it's figuring out where YouTube fits, figuring out what, as a ho on an average, is received the best. Um, but also the other side of it is me and you like doing different stuff. So then the other side of it is if, if me and you want to do the different stuff, we just got to suck it up and accept that some stuff's going to be rubbish. Some work, some doesn't. And that's it. Time check. Uh, phone's ringing. That's the time. Uh, old fart 75557. Hi, my dad and I love watching your videos. After hearing about your situation of video, we came up with some suggestions that could help. First off, couldn't you set up an answering machine service to help filter out calls? Uh, well, the problem is that is it, if, if you're ringing from YouTube, please press one, doesn't work. We've got an answer phone message and no one leaves messages anyway. Um, so yeah, and we've got a proper phone system in place as well. So that's quite a difficult one anyway. Uh, as for the financial situation, you could set up a Patreon. I'm sure some people would be willing to give you five, 10 quid a month. Also, you could have a 50, 100 pound Patreon level that would give people an exclusive way to contact you for advice, potentially reducing calls. As for content, would be nice to see some test driving, fault finding work potentially with a client, along with maybe a video showing tricks of the trade. Um, so go back. Patreon's a good shout. We hadn't really thought about that, had we? And it, it popped up a couple of times. It's come up a couple of times, yeah. So that is a good shout to do that. Or there's buy me a coffee. There's a couple of different ones in there. So yeah, that's probably a good shout. I really like the idea of um, the advice thing. Um, a way to contact us for advice. I think that's great. Maybe we say that. Maybe you go, if you become a member of the channel on YouTube, you get to ask us and we'll answer on YouTube. Um, because we do get asked a lot of technical questions in the comments and I can't, Kate does the comments. And like I said, the other day she was like, oh my God, have you seen how many comments? 500 comments or whatever it is. We do at least a hundred every video. So that is quite, um, uh, quite hard to keep on top of but yeah. I, we do try to answer them so maybe we go to a members area and then you get to ask us i, I still don't think it'll stop phone ringing i still don't think because i've had five or six already today now um finally swearing was commented on if you were to stop swearing i do try to be a good boy to to be fair some of that is is down to me because i used to make a real effort to beep out the f-bombs yeah and i think with pressure of getting videos out and a couple that went late. Yeah. Especially when it's a long video. There's yeah. a lot often to cut out and I should probably just be a bit bit more on the ball. And with sometimes those. we go a bit do lally when we do a video a long video, don't we? Of course. Because yeah. what people don't see is yeah, you've watched an hour, we've been doing it for eight. <laughs> they don't I mean? see that side of it. No, no, that's it. <laughs> What we need is a YouTube video about making a YouTube video. Now there's an idea. That is that is something else. Now um, time check. One minute ten. Uh, keep your videos to about 20 minutes long. Make videos based on what your business does. Show us some mechanical content and maybe show dyno runs and how you do them. 
show us your day-to-day -day running to the place and show us someone working on a car and how difficult supercars supercars can be to work on yeah i'd agree with that i think we've covered a lot of it above um like i said the main issues for me are maybe we'll really try on a tuesday to keep it to 20 minutes and then when we do a long video on a friday we let the reins off because we would have to we would never ever have covered that oil pump video in 20 minutes no way and i, I still chops a lot out of that yeah you know yeah um so maybe we do that um, it was always about being a workshop update, what was in and out, not trying to get too dragged in on a Tuesday into specific jobs, because ultimately that was the idea of the Friday. The bits that hamstring us in what we can give you in some of those contents around the day-to-day -day work and stuff like that is ultimately you, isn't it really? Is We've spoken about getting somebody in who, who's... Whee! Oh. Time's up. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, only joking. Well, no, I'm not, <laughs> but um, go on, Dav. I'm going to have to cut some out now to make that fit. Yeah, 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 20 minute video. <laughs> yeah, get, get somebody in, um, you know, somebody who's really into cars, young videographer, uh, who can pop in and do stuff when I'm not here. And maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's it. Maybe what essentially the next step is now is not having someone so high level as you here for five days a week, continue what we're doing, but I take someone on who's wants to be in media, loves cars, and can sit there and can do, can take off like the social media so they can do the Instagram, the Facebook. The TikTok that we don't yet have. The TikTok we don't do, because you imagine that. The shorts, do you know what I mean? All of and that. they can literally be a teenager in college who's up for a little bit of it, loves cars. I don't, uh, I but don't know. There's good potential for some good comments here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's anybody, a good shout. I mean, anybody? obviously the problem is there is Swindon you know you've got you've got to be swindon based and then you, if you do want to get into media and marketing and videos and journalism like you have then almost you'll be working hand in hand with you because ultimately what i don't want to lose is what people don't realize is your editing has a tone your interaction sure. on the camera and then how you edit the video has a tone even down to the fonts you use and how you put the video together it has a tone in the same way that all other good YouTubers have a tone. You know, you go and look at any of them. This is gonna, I need to be conscious of the time. So I don't want to lose the tone you give our videos. Um, so that is still a massive thing for you, but maybe that is it. Maybe we bring someone in who wants to work in this trade, who can do that, who can essentially be your video persons. Very politely said. Yeah, I know. And then you can do the editing, come in, do the highbrow stuff with me, do the technical stuff. Um, but I don't know. A lot of it comes down to the time, a bit, time availability you have, what we ultimately want to show, and whether we're going to do what we want to do or whether we're going to do what the analytics tell us because they seem to be two different things. They are. Um, so Righty yeah. ho. Uh, someone made a suggestion that share, please share this channel on your Facebook pages and in your Facebook groups and to your friends. Because he said that's, they do that a lot with YouTubers they work on. I can't remember his name, but he did, he did make a point of that. He goes, ask everybody to share the channel on social media, which is a good shout because we ask everybody to subscribe. But that's on the assumption you found the bloody channel in the first place. Yeah. So maybe we need to work on people finding the channel more. But you're into like we do read them we do read your comments a lot of it was the same i think what we will try and do is nail down the time on the tuesday and try and make it less talky which is exactly the opposite of what i have just done <laughs> which is 20 going to be 25 minutes by the time we're done of talking um and then try to do what we want to do on a friday so uh very well put points i agree with quite a few of them and then it's finding, removing the limitations of business offers onto implementing them. Make sense? So basically, Dav, quit your other jobs and come and work for me for free. <laughs> and no answer how, is a yes. How Everybody can I say knows no to that. that. <laughs> no answer is a yes. It's like if you, if, you, if you smile, you can't be mad. If you're ever in an argument and you make your missus laugh, haha, you smiled, can't be mad. So <laughs> smash the buttons. Let us know what you think to the new format. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll think of something to do for Friday. Lovely. See you in a bit.